close your eyes and watch your breath. As you breathe in, try to breathe deep down inside. Energize the body for a minute, and if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it feels oppressive, you can shorten the breath. You're trying to give the mind a good place to stay. It's like moving into a house. At first it may feel strange, but as you put comfortable things in there, then it becomes more and more your home. So we're creating a home for the mind here, a place where it can rest, a place where it can gather its strength, and a place where it can find shelter. Because when we're out in the world, we're bombarded by all kinds of things from all directions. And if we don't have any shelter, we get pushed around a lot, damaged a lot, because we're hoping for good things outside. And outside does have some good things, but the problem is it's not all good. There's good and there's bad. And so you need a place to protect yourself. So protect yourself with the breath. Think of the breath running through the whole body. As it runs through the whole body, it's like an electric current going through a wire. It creates a force field around it. This is your space. When you have your space like this, you do what you can to maintain it so that nobody else invades it. And that way the things of the world, even though they may be bad, go right past, past, because you're not sucking them in, you're not allowing them in, you're not pulling them in. It's like having windows and doors. Most of us have a mind that's like a bus station. Anybody can come in, anybody can go out. You know what happens in bus stations, all kinds of strange stuff. It's like we're a public restroom. People come in and they just dump their stuff. Then they go. So what we need is a, is a home where we have the right to close the windows, close the doors, and let in only the people who are good. And as for bad things inside, we don't let them out either. This is what restraint is all about. It goes both ways. Not taking in things that you know are going to be harmful for the mind. And at the same time, not letting out anything that's going to be harmful to the world outside. So in this home, make sure you're comfortable, but also make sure that you're very careful about when to open the windows and doors. That way you get the best use of shelter. In other words, you're not totally closed off from the world. You're open to the good things of the world, and you let good things inside out. But at the same time, you know when to protect yourself and protect the world. So look after this home for the mind. Make it a comfortable place to be. And you can take advantage of the opportunity to close and open the doors and not feel the need to go running out after whatever comes past. Because it's, it's because we're not comfortable inside that we're constantly running out things after things outside. So make this a good place to be. Breathe in a way that feels good all the way down through the body. And see how long you can maintain that comfort. That, being, that becomes a mobile home that you carry out into the world. <laughs>